Hi, I'm Rich Auerbach, and welcome to my first blog. It's uh, Five Years of Nomad, Stories from the Left Seat. I'm going to be talking about RVing, uh, where we went, stories that happened along the way. Uh, hopefully it'll be fun, and maybe some tips and tricks at the end. So, uh, welcome to my first blog. Um, I'm wearing my Mr. Motorhome hat that was given to me by uh, some friends on a trip, and we'll talk about that down the road, and my little shirt right here. And we'll talk about that. All hopefully fun stories. I'll take this off because it. Uh, I just don't like wearing a hat that much. The other thing I want to talk about real quick is the movie RV with Robin Williams. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's uh, online, I'm sure. Everything in that movie is true. If you're RVing long enough, all those things will happen to you. Uh, it happened to us, uh, more in some cases, more than once. Uh, the only thing that we didn't have happen is uh, we didn't fall into a lake. So, but everything else, it happened to me. So, let's get on to the first story and let's go talk about uh, our first motorhome, which was a road trek. A road trek is van sized, they start at 17 foot, depending on the base of the van, and up to I think 25 feet now. We had a, a 17 footer, looked like this one over here, uh, 170 Poplar. It was a six passenger van with raised roof. It had all the things in it that a motorhome has in it. It had a, a bed, it had a refrigerator, it had a shower, it had a toilet, it had a TV, a uh, place uh, for three people to sit. Uh, it had a what they call a honeymoon bed uh, that the only way you can get out of it is by crawling over your partner. But I'm going to talk about our first um, real trip was to Blueberry Hill in Bushnell. This was our first time anywhere in the RV. Now we got this thing and uh, I'm a studier. I like to look at the books and, and study how everything is and where everything is so I don't like a, a total idiot uh, when I'm doing something. Not that it's a stretch to get me to a total idiot but I tried not to get there. Uh, so I thought I had this thing pretty well down. I knew where the connections were in the coach. I knew how things worked in the coach. So I thought, and we were ready for our first trip. From where we lived to Bushnell, maybe 30 miles. So we get to Bushnell, we back in, uh, not a problem. Uh, when we went there, it was mostly Macadam. There were little islands between each parking spot maybe three foot wide a little bit of grass on that separation between the pads there was an area f with a hole in it about that big with a cover on it uh, a place to plug in and it had water everything you need to hook up and I opened that up and I had not a clue where anything I had inside went to the outside. We stood there, my wife and I, trying not to look like idiots, but obviously we didn't succeed because some lady came up to us who was uh, in fact RVing by herself. She had a little class C. She asked us if we were new and I said, this was our first trip. And she said, well, let me show you how to hook things up. So uh, I pulled out the sewer hose and she says, it goes in this hole. And she said, where's your donut? I said, I don't know what a donut is. Well, a donut is the thing that goes around the sewer hose so that when you put it in the hole, it secures it there, helps hold it into the hole, and at the same time doesn't keep vapors from coming out. Um, I didn't have a donut. We got donuts later, but for that trip, no donut. And part of the problem is if you don't have a donut and you start flushing tanks, that hose can pop out. And you know what happens when it pops out. So she showed us how to hook everything up. The next morning uh, I got up and I decided, I said, let's take a shower. And my wife says, I'm not showering in this thing ever. So I gave it a try. Now, let me, I want you to picture this. The shower obviously is in the bathroom, right above the toilet. You have enough room in there to, you, there was a little sink and a little toilet. And the shower curtain came out into the center aisle. The center aisle in the road trek is also the shower pan. 
the whole length is basically a shower pan. So I brought this thing out and, it, and the bathroom door opens up in such a way as to give you some privacy. So close the curtains in the front and you have this door that acts as a, a buffer from, for the back window. So I pull the shower curtain out and I get the water situated and I, it's one of these kind of handheld and I'm, I'm in the aisle and the curtain, of course, as I'm going around showering, the curtain is sticking to me every place it gets wet because it's literally right here. So it's right here. So it was a fun thing to do and I'm showering. I finally get all, all wet and soaked up. Uh, it's always fun to to do that with one hand and one hand with soap and one hand to rinse and, and at the same time keeping the shower curtain from sticking to me. So I got myself all eventually cleaned up and I pull the curtain away and I look down and there's this much water down the whole center aisle of the road trip. What I didn't know at that point in time was in order to get it to drain it has to be at a bit of an angle basically like this. So the drain is back here, so when you're showering it runs back that way and doesn't keep everything from getting wet. So it took a while to get that dry. We did our first road trip trip, uh, as I said, six weeks, and we had a grand time, and I'll tell you about that trip in the next blog. That's blog two. All right, I promise you a little tip at the end. If you're new at RVing, uh, this may help you if you're thinking about RVing. Uh, even if you're going to a, thinking about a tiny house, this is a tip you're going to use in all those places. You have basically three tanks in an RV. You have fresh water, gray water, and black water. And if you're already an RVer, you already know all this stuff, but for new people. When you empty your tanks, remember that sewer hose we talked about? You want to empty the black tank first. The black tank is the toilet water, you know, and all the things that go down a toilet. And We'll talk about that down the road, um, things that have happened with the toilet. Uh, but you want to empty that black tank first, and then you empty the gray tank. The gray tank is the water that comes from the sinks. Uh, that fills up a lot faster than the black tank. Uh, the reason you empty the black tank first, then the gray tank, the gray tank empties through the black tank. So what you're doing is you're, in essence, cleaning out the black tank. So that's the tip for today, black tank first. So this is Rich Auerbach, five years of nomad, stories from the left seat. See you next time.